right so in this video what I want to do is I want to build my own uh, WordPress theme um, there's several frameworks out there that you can use to um, just speed up the process of uh, theming a WordPress website um, I always recommend using a framework um, to do so if not if you started very bare bones um what will happen is you'll you'll waste a lot of time just just getting started um so i usually recommend um using a wordpress fr framework called um underscore and so let's see um underscore wordpress framework underscore sorry and so um, with this theme I tend to use this one a lot um, for my theming because um, it just has everything I need um, they have a list of just contributors and and, and just it's, it's, it's a really good framework um, going in but in this video, I'm, uh, I'm going to download this uh, particular framework, but I want to um, create a, a custom build tool um, that will actually compile all of my um, JavaScript and CSS or, or SAS files um, into CSS um, for my final um, build. So the first thing I want to do is um within my project's root directory um i want to head over to and let's clear this out i want to head over to the wp content themes folder right and so from there this is where i want my theme to live so instead of just downloading and then putting in this folder and unzipping it I rather just clone the project because um, it'll allow me to keep it up to date if I decide that um, I want to pull any uh, new commits to the or to the version that I have. But most likely, I'm going to make my own commits to my own branch on my repo. But um, to download, I'll just do a um, get clone and then did I copy it? Yeah, I should have copied it. Ah, there we go. And then I want to name it. So I'll just call it uh, WP demo site. All right. So from there, if I log in, oh, let me start my server. And um, in, previous vi in previous videos, I showed how to um, set up a WordPress site using WP CLI and I'm doing the same thing here where I need WP CLI to run the server to get started. So I have it pulled up here, but the server isn't running. But if I refresh, of course, the site can't be reached. So what I'll do is um, let me get to the site. Oh, what projects and WP here and server i had it on port um 8089 right all right and i refresh all right so my underscores site should be loaded or theme should be loaded if i go to appearance and themes and there it is okay so from here, what I want to do is um, let's open up my code editor. I don't know why it's too. Okay, there we go. And no, that's not the right site. Let's just open up a new window. Let's take my project. Let's just dump it in. Nope. I want to do the thing, not the full site. All right. 
right? And if you've ever used uh, Webpack to build, um, because this is my um, custom build in relation to um, what um, underscores already has in place um, with theirs, I mean, theirs is cool. Um, it does build um, the SAS pieces that are already within there, but I like to do my own thing uh, when it comes to linting and um, compiling um, SAS files and JavaScript. So what I'm going to do is I'll, in here, I'm gonna create a, uh, a source folder. And this is where This is so this is where my um, index folder will live. I mean, my index file will live, live which will be my entry um, file for Webpack. So when I execute um, a Webpack um, build, it'll actually read from this file here, here within the source folder. So then at the root directory, I want to create a webpack config.js, right? All right, and if I go to, so I have two tabs pulled up, one for running the server and then one just to move around my, my project. So for this, I want to go to the demo site. And from here, um, there's two commands you can run. Um, both are uh, no package manager um, functions. There's npm and then there's yarn. I like to use yarn, so I'm going to do yarn add webpack. And then webpack CLI. And this is what we'll use. The Webpack is um, for the build and then the Webpack CLI is to use within the package.json as a script. So we're gonna run that um, Webpack command from within the script and that'll allow us to run a Webpack um, command functions um, as if we're running it in the command line, but from this uh, scripts block within package.json. So uh, let's go webpack CLI. Um, and then there's some other packages that um, I need to load in to make a lot of this stuff work, um, but I'll get to it once we start building the webpack config. So I wanna add node SAS. I wanna add a Babel loader. I want to add a CS, CSS loader. Yeah, I'll add a CSS loader. Um, SAS loader. Um, uh, I believe it's a mini extract. Mini extract uh, CSS plugin, I believe that may work um it may give me back an error but these are the pieces that i would need to build um my um, javascript and my sas so let's see that mini extract css plugin might not work that might not be the correct um spelling for it, but if it if it errors out i'll need to Go look it up. Yeah, okay. So let's go to the Webpack site. And we'll need to look up that loader. Ah, here it is, okay. So it's a mini CSS extract plugin, okay. So we do a yarn, add, um, save, dev, uh, mini, CSS extract plugin. 
Missing this. Oh, let's just do a add. So what this plugin does is um, instead of building it um, into our instead of building this building the CSS into uh, a bundle file, which will be a JavaScript file. What we're doing is we're separating the CSS into its own style sheet. So a dot CSS um, file rather than a JavaScript file. And so that that's what this this um, this plugin does. So I'm just waiting for it to download. So now in our CSS config, what we want to do is we want to begin to um, build out our CSS. So there's um, there's some things that you need to work with. You need to start with. And I always um, use the built in package. Um, or the, yeah, you can call it a built in package for Node, which is a path uh, package. And this allows you to um, traverse the um, directory. <clears throat> and so the next thing you want to do is you want to export it and there's two required um, properties for uh, what packs there's the the entry and then there's the output the entry being um, the index file that we talked about in the source folder and then there's the output output will have two properties one being the path um, and where the bundle file will be saved and then the um, the file name. So we'll just call it uh, bundle.js. Um, and that's um, that's best practice in most cases when you see other tutorials um, and they name the output uh, bundle.js, but you can name it whatever you like. But so <clears throat> what we'll do is we'll start with our entry. And I think there's a uh, I don't have it on this machine, but there should be some like webpack snippets. Yeah. I need to um, sync this, this instance of Visual Studio Code um, up to my other one. Okay. So. see it looks like it's loading but anyway so what we'll do is we'll go and find our source and uh, it's a uh, dash source or src index dot js and then for the output Um, this is an object, so we have um, the file name, which we call bundle.js, and then the path. We'll take the um, the path directory. We resolve it, and the resolve would be the directory name. And then we'll call it um, a disk folder. And this is the, the name of the directory that this file will save in. Now, um, what we'll need to do is go back to our package.json file. And let's add it to our scripts. Excuse me, but I'm I'm using Vim to kind of maneuver around this file. So let's just call it Webpack. Um, let's just call it Build for now. And then I want to reference um, Webpack in the Node folder. Webpack. 
All right. And if I go to my folder, let's say Webpack, um, your Webpack build. All right. So it's running. And here's my disk folder and the bundle. Cool. All right. So, um, that's just the start of it. So in my next video, I'm going to um, get into how I use uh, Webpack to build my SAS files. Thank you. So if you like this content that I just shared, please subscribe to this channel. Go ahead and hit that notification button while you're at it so you could actually be notified when I post my next video.